Hello, welcome back to Bianca's Tarot. Um, tonight I'm going to be um, doing Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. Um, I'm not really, to be honest, I don't really care about these two on a personal level. I mean, most of the celebrities I do on this channel is not really people like I'm like digging into. Like I have a very, very rare few list of people like I give a shit about enough to like um, look up their lives like that. But um, yeah, this is highly requested. Um, the Selena Gomez stands or and fans, you guys like love this channel. Like I'll, when I look at my YouTube stats, like a lot of the views counts have come from Selena Gomez readings. Um, she has a very strong fan base. Um, so yeah, definitely um, cons think about you guys. I do think about you guys on this channel. Um, I think the first video I had that hit 1000 views was a Selena Gomez reading and it hit a thousand views pretty fast. So I, I am aware of the, her, uh, she has a really strong fan base. Um, I didn't really, I, I think out of all the people I've done on this channel, like even, even bigger than Beyonce, I thought my Beyonce reading would um, go up uh, quick, but Selena Gomez is like really, really popular here. So yeah, um, anywho, the relationship, I don't really know too much about what happened. Um, let me let my sister walk. Yeah, I'm gonna do my readings. Um, sorry guys, but um, yeah, I don't really know too much about what happened. I just know it was strange to see how quickly he got married. I did, um, Selena Gomez has had not the best love life, like, and I definitely feel her on that, like, on a personal note, you know, I definitely feel my girl on that. So, um, and she's, and he is a Pisces and she's a, Gosh, what is her sign? I can't think. Of. Is she a Cancer? Can you guys let me know in the comments? It'll show in the cards anyway. But um, yeah. So let me just sage some things, and um, then we'll get started. Okay. Alright, so that took a little long. I was doing like the prayer I always do. Um, but anywho, so yeah, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber, and now you know he's married. Um, I don't know what's going on in her life. It doesn't seem in her love life. It doesn't seem like she's public with anyone. As as long, as, I mean, to my knowledge, maybe I'm wrong because I'm not really checking up on her like that. But uh, so uh, let's see what happened in this relationship. So what's the energy like between these two right now with how they feel towards each other? What's the energy like? King of Swords, he does think about her. Um, definitely got that card. That's definitely a parent. He does think about her time to time. Um, I'm just picking up more about him than her. I feel like he thinks about her a lot, and probably more than she thinks about him. Um, it doesn't have to be romantic too. It's just like, I think he just like wonders like how she's doing. I don't really feel like they're speaking. I mean, it would make sense he's married. And somebody doesn't have a really great ex memory of this relationship. I feel like this could be her energy with the Ace of Cups. I'm still a little bit hard on her heart a little bit, but she's still kind of moving on with her life, and I feel like this is more of his energy, kind of like, think about her. I think if he wasn't with his wife, he would be open to speaking with her. I feel like he still kind of has her as an open door in his head. It's, it's weird, like, I'm just picking up, um, it's hard to see the camera, yeah, I'm just picking up psychically that like it feels like in his head it's like there's like a window open for her like it's weird I can't explain it the base of the queen of wands just kind of her moving on with everything I do feel like he thinks about her time to time so let's get um his perspective and then I'll do Selena's all right so Let's get his perspective on this relationship, Justin Bieber, and on 
and Selena Gomez. How does he, what was the relationship like for him? How does he feel towards her? Wow, I got the Ten of Cups, okay. Ten of Cups, Six of Cups. This, guys, I, wow, that's so interesting to me. I was not expecting those cards um, since he's married. <laughs> uh not that like wow this was so much happened there's a whole story i got a whole story here let me pull some more cards i got a whole story here all right wow yeah 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 okay so i feel like with the ten of cups two of cups ace of pentacles he really thought he was going to be with this girl for a long time he really did love her um, I actually feel like he's upset if when he reads things about like how he didn't love Selena because in my reading what I'm getting I do it's someone who loves someone and who does kind of actually love someone still even though they're not romantically together anymore. Um, this was could have been a uh, soulmate to inflame type of connection that's very possible with the two first two cards here very strong cards for to be asking about if I ask about a love interest and I get these cards that's very wow that's really intense this is like some this is somebody really important to him and possibly still important to him um i got the two of cups which is that connection i feel like there is a, a great connection here is she a water sign i feel like i looked up her sign before now i forgot i don't know i think she's a cancer but i, I'm, I could be wrong and then i have the ace of pentacles it's just like a brand new start he really thought this would actually last longer than it did six of cups with the ace of cups and the seven of pentacles is kind of talking about the breakdown of the relationship to me because where it started um six of cups uh yeah i'm picking up that's why somebody had to leave why did somebody have to leave Ooh, these all right i'm not gonna put this in the reading but these two fill out reverse page of wands reverse high priestess reverse um it's page of wands reverse high priestess reverse it's kind of like I feel like somebody was immature. I feel like somebody lacked maturity, lacked um, po positivity in this relationship. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. I'm trying to... I feel like she, she felt like he was waiting on him to grow up, guys. Like, I, I feel, it feels like you're waiting on someone. Because the Six of Cups also, re sometimes it could be somebody stuck in the past and the Knight of Pentacles is him and Eight of Cups and the Two of Wands. And I got, and then I was wondering like who's waiting. I got the Queen of, I got the um, the Queen of Cups. Like somebody was like waiting on something. And I feel like it was her, she was waiting on him to grow up, like waiting for, like waiting for this to really grow i don't feel like they really were growing at the same rate on a spiritual level but the queen of cups is telling it's a woman she has a lot of compassion and and love and i think that's her for him but she's you know she's waiting i mean i got a whole story here she's just waiting and it's it was like kind of waiting he was kind of stuck in his past ways his old ways and she felt like she was just waiting on him forever. The Six of Swords is telling me somebody who decided to move on, move forward, even though their heart was broken. And you know what? I got the Seven of Pentacles and then I got the Eight of Cups. She's telling me like, it's not like they did want to walk away. And it's not like she did want to walk away because this isn't like somebody, there was a lot of love here. I don't think this was one of the celebrity couples that were together like for a facade. And you guys can comment all you want on my Rihanna and Drake thing. Like, oh, like, why would they get matching tattoos? I don't care. My my card said what they said. I didn't get that. It was a requited love. This, to me, felt like two people that did care about each other. Even though I'm not picking up on her, it feels like she did really care about him and vice versa. But it felt like somebody wasn't growing. I felt like he's coming up as the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. And she's waiting on him to, like, grow up. That's what I'm feeling. So he felt like he was stuck in his past ways and he felt like it was hard for her to walk away. He's acknowledging it was hard for her to walk away. He knows it was hard for her to walk away. Um, oh wow, I got the Five of Cups too. That's the dwelling. This was not an easy breakup. This wasn't, um, 
the moon is the he felt really depressed after this breakup actually he was really i got the six of swords five of cups three of swords the moon damn that is like a straight and the world is things coming together and i think the ace of swords was him especially marrying someone was him just, just trying to get his life together and like just accept the ending of them and i feel like he she walked away from him i feel like it's either she walked away from him or like somebody just wasn't changing it feels like somebody wasn't growing and at the base i have the page of wands i feel like somebody wasn't changing somebody wasn't growing but there was a lot of love here um he felt like i'm just getting a feeling like she was just always waiting on me it, it also feels like he's taking accountability when he looks back at this i don't feel like in his heart of hearts like he really blames her i feel like he's taking accountability i also know he was like getting real spiritual or like religious or something so i feel like he like part of that like the way his because he feels because guys you know I, I read with my intuition i i do like have medium abilities whatever so i'm picking up on how he's feeling and it feels like someone that's really regretful and it feels like somebody who looks back at a time in their life like she was waiting on me to grow up and like i wasn't where i was or where i should have been i'm not picking up on cheating or anything i mean i got three of swords in the moon but this to me is describing the aftermath of the breakup it doesn't feel like there was other people involved here it feels like somebody's own issues he could have some childhood issues as well that affected this relationship and i imagine with him growing up so soon in the spotlight that was a um kind of traumatic you know I, there's a video essay on like um a lot of the Disney stars and stuff like that, like even with the Olsen twins, the ones that grow up so, they have to grow up so fast in the media. It's, I mean, even look at Britney Spears, it's not, um, it's kind of traumatizing actually because you have so much pressure on you and it's like, it's really hard. Okay, so how's this relationship for him? Past life love, your soul remembers this intense connection. Yeah, this is like, this is i'm getting like notebook vibes as well like i'm seeing the notebook in my head um it just feels like that this was really interesting an important relationship to him um stability this relationship can stand the test of time he really wanted it to work with her and he thought it would work with her um acceptance everything happens for a reason and then he, there was just acceptance that this wasn't going to work out and he moved on with a broken heart. Um, he moved on with a broken heart. He was really, really sad after they ended. Like, when he really accepted that this was ending. Um, yeah. It feels like he, she left her. Like, it just crippled apart. And I got twin flame. They could be twin flames. Like, I'm sorry. Like, the, the connect. The, I feel it with this reading. Um, that is so interesting to me uh my throat is clogging up too this is actually really um and it's crazy because like i'm telling you guys like i really don't care about these two i don't really look them up but i do feel like it's it's an emotional uh i feel like there could be like a movie about their relationship it feels like a movie like it feels like um that type of romance okay all right so these are like my breakup cards like they kind of tell the the truth. So how does he feel about the breakup, the ending? I never want to feel that way again. Ooh, that's interesting. That's on top of the Ten of Cups. I feel like he had so much emotion for her and he felt like it was gonna work that he he's scared of feeling that again and then it's not it doesn't work out. Like, I don't remember what I said in the reading with Justin Bieber and Haley, but it feels like He's like, yo, the next relationship I'm in better fucking work out. Or I'm never going to open up my heart again. Like, it feels like someone like that. Like, I'm never going to open up my heart again. I'm never going to love again. It feels like that. I don't know what to say. He doesn't, he doesn't like to talk about this. He doesn't like to talk about her. Because it's, it's kind of pretty intense still. I know you're watching me. He feels like maybe she ch checks up on him. I want to tell you so much. And a part of him misses her. But it's... 
ten of cups to me it's almost like they had like just it feels like a soul tie even definitely was a real relationship definitely wasn't like a relationship that was kind of just put on for the show like i do feel like they really like they really liked each other they really loved each other or he really loved her in in the, the best of his capacity of course wow okay oh that was interesting that was very uh interesting it's interesting it's you know it's funny what the card can can pull so from that reading you know definitely um an important relationship to him and it definitely um yeah it definitely impacted him at some level the justin bieber and selena gomez fans are probably like dying in the comments or something because um, they, I, I noticed that people still like ship them and stuff, which is, I guess, cute, but they're real people, so we don't know what happened in their relationship, really. Alright, so, so Selena, how does she look back on this? How does Selena Gomez look back on this relationship with him? How does she feel towards him emotionally now, looking back? But how is that relationship for her? Oh, why is this card upright? Seven of Cups, the Devil, interesting, Five of Pentacles, interesting, um, I think she walked into this relationship really guarded, I think she, at the time she met him she was dating other people, and she, she came into this relationship really guarded, I don't think she really trusted him, like, she didn't, she could have been hurt by someone else when she, before she got in this relationship and she came into this relationship like i think when she was dating other people and she had her guard up a lot um she didn't really trust him actually like at all like she never really trusted him um the devil is how she's looking at this why the devil card the emperor i think she had issues with his father or like a father Oh, some uh, maybe her father didn't like him or something i'm getting like this father figure here the hierophon is telling me um there was discussions about like if justin was right for her i feel like there's a man here that is influencing her like what she thinks of justin bieber i got the devil and the ten of cups i feel like even though she kind of fell f in love with him she still never trusted him like it's weird i feel like it's like why is the emperor there was a she used to argue with a father figure about him or like an older male in her life and but at the same time she wanted things to be stable with him because she kind of like grew to love him and but she never felt like completely at ease i feel like there could have been like why is the devil here again ace of pentacles it's like she, there's like, there was like worry about this relationship. And it could have been from her family because I got the Ten of Cups and the Emperor. So I don't know if her family didn't really like him. There's talks about addiction as well, or like addictions. That's what she remembers. She's so guarded when I, when I read for her. This is not like Justin's reading. This is so different. She looks at this very differently man i'm getting some tough cards it feels like somebody who's guarded like it doesn't feel like somebody who who fell in love and like trusted openly she never really trusted him she never really trusted his decisions but she wanted a future with him at the same time like and then i got the five of pentacles there was issues with their career there was issues it was affecting her career um the relationship um nine of wands is there were a lot of disappointments um somebody who she was really she never really felt confident that this about this relationship i keep getting page cards i feel like there was a lot of immaturity in the moon and the six of wands i feel like she didn't it's like somebody putting up a facade like it's like she feels like not that the relationship was fake, but it wasn't, like, as stable as it looked. Um, it's ending with the moon and the six of wands, so I feel like she does 
really want to move forward it doesn't feel like justin's energy where like that it's like an open possibility i feel like she doesn't have that many positive memories but i got the ten of cups in her reading too which tells me that there was a lot of love and i got the empress of the hair fawn, which is somebody who wants to have a stable foundation but i feel like there was a father figure that really didn't like him in her life like that's what it feels like like there's a feels like an older male around her that like argued with him or maybe talked about him and never she never felt she always had like a a, a like a like anxiety with him like she couldn't really trust justin to make decisions and just trust him in general she never felt really happy and confident in him or something like that and the moon is just the sadness but the way she dealt with this breakup was very different like i feel like she just it's not that it didn't hurt her but it's more of like she put on like a facade i feel like the moon card is telling me deep down she was sad about it but the nine of wands was like by the time they broke up she was just kind of drained like she kind of had a lot of disappointments and she never really trusted him and she walked into this relationship um not emotionally available anyway like that's what it feels like and at the end of that the magician sometimes she does think about him i feel like they did manifest each other on some level um all right so yeah how did she look back on this relationship yeah her reading her perspective is very different very different awakening someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation so she could have met him when she was having a dark night of the soul or maybe that's too extreme but she was she was coming out of something and she was keeping her options open like she wasn't emotionally available like i don't feel like she was um she did consider having children with him she really wanted to settle down she did kind of even though she had that feeling like maybe she was worried or something stability this relationship she really thought they were going to be stable acceptance everything happens for a reason and i got that at the end of justin's reading that is so crazy to me they both just accepted that this wasn't gonna work like at some point like that's just what i feel um all right in the shadows i never want to feel that way again i hope you're happy it's funny i got the same card you didn't imagine it so this is different i got it but for this card it's not what i said for justin it's more of like she walked into this like already not emotionally available like she already she came from like a situation it doesn't have to be romantic but she had come from something that really hurt her and she was like i'm not gonna just love like that again so it's weird it's like how justin felt when the relationship was over with selena is how she felt walking into the relationship so i don't know what happened in her life before then but it feels like she was already like i got the ten of swords and seven of cups that's somebody who's not available to me really and then i got the card i hope you're happy um did they not agree with having children or something or like having like something long term because her energy it's not that she's bitter but i do feel like with him getting moving on so soon it is kind of like like i hope you're happy like kind of like that's how i read it in my head and with my energy so yeah and then i got you didn't imagine it this was a real relationship she didn't she would i feel like if she could tell him anything now it's like she would say like it's it wasn't for publicity it wasn't what the rumors are saying you didn't imagine this i didn't imagine this we did really want something at one time and i i got the same thing i know we have a soul connection at the base that like i i didn't i get one of those cards that just said that for justin they have a soul tie there was a soul like connection this could have been a soulmate connection and sometimes a lot of you think like you think that soulmates are meant to be together forever soulmates are meant to shake you up and like kind of make you like re like think everything you thought was real like a lot of like relationships that break down in your personal lives like when the for those of you who, who have like been betrayed and stuff and like have been through some crazy that's not like your your soul it's your, your soulmate is like soulmates come to teach us lessons in this lifetime about like self-worth um about 
you know, so many things about ourselves. You guys want, if you just, this is like a tip. If you want to manifest a love part, manifest, manifest a life partner. Because that's a person that's going to stay with you. Like that's, that's the Ten of Cups. Okay, don't ask her a soulmate. Because a soulmate is like, a soulmate is, hmm, what card can I use? Soulmate is the moon. <laughs> um, it's. I should do a video on that on one one day, but it's not like how people think it is. I've made that mistake in manifesting as well. Um, and you also have to manifest like believing that you can have it because if you're saying one thing, but deep down you're scared of love and you're emotionally unavailable, you're gonna retract. I mean, retract, sorry. You're going to attract um, people that are kind of on the same vibration. Um, I used to not believe this, but it, it's literally like, it's real. Like, it's the real deal, you know? So that's just like a fun fact, okay? Because I do love readings on here a lot with celebrities, and they're like regular people like me. Like, I see it in the cards. Like, they, like... Just because you're beautiful and famous and blah, 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 doesn't mean that you're just going to meet your love. Like, some people don't get it like that. It's not easy. Um, you got to be on that vibration most of the time and genuinely believe in it. And other things have to be right, you know. Um, that's just my personal beliefs, okay? To, like, attracting, like really healthy long-term relationships so that was just like my ted talk because <laughs> i know this reading might get a lot of views since um a lot of people are requesting these two so i just thought i'd put that message out there um so i want to ask so let me just ask some questions is all right so i'll do something special for you so i'm trying to think of what you guys meant so is justin still in love with selena because his reading felt really different it didn't feel like someone so let me see if he's still let me just ask that page of wands the fool no he's not in love with her he just um the fool especially yeah that's somebody that's moving on he's not in love with her anymore he just thinks about her time to time but he's not like in love with her all right, um, and what can I ask? Will these ev will these two ever get back together? I don't think so. From the reading, or really, um, I don't care if I was reading for Justin and Selena or two hobos on the street. I can the energy of this. They don't feel like two people that are gonna get back together to me. But let me just ask. I mean, I don't know. J Lo and Ben. That would, like I wonder if that could happen with these two. Okay, no. Eh. Oh, but I got the lovers. Hmm. Seven of Swords, though. Somebody. If these two connect, like, behind the scenes, somebody's going to be holding a lot of secrets, and it won't be coming from a genuine place. It feels like more of a no. And if they do, he somebody's... I got the Seven of Swords to confirm, and I don't like that confirmation. That's telling me that it won't last, and somebody's not going to be truthful. So, I don't know. But it's mainly a no. Um, all right, what's the future looking like for these two in general? So let's see the energy. Oh, I got the same card. Interesting. Eight of Swords. Seven of Cups. I keep getting Seven of Cups in this reading. Temperance, okay. Justice. Page of Pentacles. Well... I think one of them is gonna have a um, legal problems. Like, I just heard in my head divorce. I don't know if Justin and Haley are gonna last, to be honest. Like, that's just like what I'm picking up energetically. But it does feel like somebody's gonna be going through like something that has to do with the court or like like the legal system or having to go to court for something. Um, who is this? It's, I got the King of Cups, um, that's Justin, because he's a, especially since he's a water sign, so I feel like he's going to be having some issues with the legal system. It's not like jail or anything like that, but I feel like he might be having to go to court for something, like, down the line. Like, I see him going to court. Um, Seven of Cups, Page of Pentacles. 
yeah, Selena will have a child one day. She will eventually kind of settle down. I see her with a child down, down the line. Um, who's it going to be with? Yeah, there's a relationship coming for Selena. I don't know when is it going to be, but I see that she's going to be a mother one day. I see her having a girl. And I think this this girl is going to grow up to be in the entertainment industry as well. But um, I got Temperance and the Chariot. I see them just moving on with their lives, really. I don't see... And I got the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like she... Yeah, I got the Empress, guys, and the Queen of Cups. She's going to be a mother. Um... And as for Justin, I don't know, guys. Just something's gonna be happening with Justin in the in the legal system. I don't like that energy for him. I got the Eight of Swords, King of Cups, Justice, Ten of Swords. Feels like there's something about solving an issue with the the court. It feels like that. And at the base, I have the strength. With this, with this, this is um, um having enough courage to move on and move forward. Um, Selena will be a mother. I do. Um, or Haley might have a kid as well. That is very possible, but I feel like it's more Selena's energy I'm picking up on for um, a relationship coming to her one day. She will be married as well. Um, that is so interesting. Let me just, I didn't use this deck, so let me use this to end the reading. Within the next few weeks. Yeah, he's going to have something coming up for him. I got the card no she's gonna wait a while until she has a kid though and i think it might come unexpectedly this relationship and this child um and i got let go Haley might even have children with justin it's really possible because i got two females here that are pregnant and you know i mean justin can't get pregnant so it's like either selena or the girl he's dealing with it's very possible he might have a child with her as well but it feels more like selena is gonna have like a like at least two children or a child one day and i got it's up to you they're gonna be moving on all right um interesting uh please you know be respectful in the comments i really don't care for the name calling of Haley's this selena's that i really don't care for it i'll turn the comments off i really don't care um and um best of luck to these two these two this, these two celebrities all right, um, I have not yet done a reading on Justin Bieber. I have to do, I have to check with my spirit guides about that. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. He feels, his energy feels like off to me a little bit. Um, I'll see if I can, but you guys can request him. I just gotta see if it feels right and stuff. And thank you for almost 600 subscribers. I've been noticing the new people coming to the channel and like binge watching the videos. I really appreciate it, okay? It really means a lot to me, um, especially those who even feel vulnerable enough to book with me, you know, I, I do read honestly. So thank you so much, okay? I'm gonna send this off soon and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next videos, okay? Bye.